Hey, welcome to Rob Paints Models. This is episode three of Let's Paint Flash Kits. Today we're painting the boss pole. First, I'm gonna base coat everything with VMA Burnt Umber. That's because the boss pole is predominantly metal, bone, or leather, and those all share the same base coat. Now I'm gonna do a zenithal highlight on the bone areas with Rakarth Flesh. This is then followed up with another highlight of Pallid Witch Flesh. I've painted all of the black and metal areas with a and black, and we're now going to base coat them with VMA Dark Grey Blue. We're going to edge highlight those black areas with Fenrisian Grey. And now we're going to highlight the corners with Ulthwan Grey. Now we're going to base coat all of the metal areas with VMA Gun Grey. and wash all of the metal and black areas with known oil. Now we're going to weather the black and metal areas with some burnt umber using a sponge technique. Another pass with the sponge using Scrag Brown. And lastly, VMA Chrome. Now we're painting the leather, and we're going to base coat all of the leather areas with VMA Burnt Umber, just in case you've got any of the uh, metal colours over the teeth or the leather areas. We're just going over that again. Now we're going to do our first highlight on the leather with Doom Ball Brown.
Now we're going to do another highlight with Ushabti Bone. We're also going to create some little scratches and damage areas on the leather with this. Next we're going to tint everything we've done so far on the leather with BMA Burnt Umber. It's a very thin airbrush paint so it works well as a tint here. And last highlight with pure Ushabti Bone again. We're also going to add in a couple of extra scratches. just to add some more detail. So now we're on to the bone and I'm going to wash the whole thing with Agrax Earthshade. This isn't the gloss version, this is the regular matte version and that's because I do want this to stay in the paint a little bit. Once that's dry, we're going to apply some Seraphim Sepia. This is just to add a few more yellow tones into the bone. Cleaning up a lot of it with uh, a clean brush and some water. We don't want this to overpower or oversaturate the bone areas. I'm going to highlight some areas with a shabty bone just to try and clean up the surface a little bit.
here I'm using more of a glaze consistency to try and smooth out some of the transitions, get rid of the brush marks, fix up any mistakes in any areas where uh, the weathering step from the metal might have gotten on the bone. Now I'm going to use Pallid Witch Flesh, and this is to do an edge highlight on all the sharp areas towards the points of the horns, along the edge of the teeth, along the, the brow of the skull, tops of the cheekbones. Now here I'm going back with Rakarth Flesh and I'm painting back in some shadows that I may have lost when I was going over with the Shabti Bone. Again, this is a kind of trial and error process going back and forth between different paints to try and get it to look right. I mostly noticed that I kind of went a bit over the top and over highlighted with the Shabti Bone. I needed it to bring it back to that mid-tone colour. Now I'm using a mix of BMA Burnt Umber and Rakarth Flesh, and this is also in a glaze consistency, and I'm just using this to glaze in some shadows under the cheekbones, in the recesses, just to try and give the skull a bit more shape. Now I'm painting the bullet with metal colour copper. And the casing of the bullets I'm going to paint with metal colour gold. And lastly, the bullets are going to get hit with some Agrax Earth Shade Gloss. And there we go, that's the boss pole. On the rest of the flash kits, you'll notice there are some glyph plates. Those are all painted using the same colours and techniques that I've used in previous videos of the Captain and the Snaz Gun. This video, I wanted to concentrate mostly on the bone and the leather areas that predominantly make up the captain's boss pole rather than the rest of the flash gets. If you are enjoying this series then please like, share and subscribe and leave a comment letting me know what you want to see in the future. There are links in the doobly doo to all of the equipment I use as well as to my Facebook page, Twitter and Instagram. And if this video helped you paint any of your orcs then please tweet me some pictures, I'd love to see them. That's it, thanks for watching, bye.